We all wanted Bitcoin to make the run to $70,000 and it did not. And here we are watching Bitcoin on the zoomed in hourly charts wondering, will $55,000 support hold? What is in store for Bitcoin in the hours ahead? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, turn the notification bells on. I appreciate all of your support as we grow this YouTube channel. Let's jump in to the Bitcoin video. This is the hourly chart. We're going to dive in. Really, actually, some cool things happening here. Could be a bullish setup. We're going to discuss. We'll discuss this failing as well. But I want to start here. This is a tweet. I actually saw this like when I woke up this morning. Longer term, three plus year hodlers have continued to accumulate Bitcoin while new, newer hodlers in the last six to 12 months have sold into the recent rally. I'm kind of like smiling while I read this because I was scrolling down. I read this comment. I want to, I just want to find it because it was really funny. Three year hodlers through the Corona dump and everything legends. And it's true. Like, and I think a lot of you out there watching this video were not only holding, but accumulating Bitcoin as all of this mess was happening, even starting in that last bear market when it started. And here we are, and this chart is really interesting, basically showing you the, the, the hodlers not letting go of their Bitcoin and actually accumulating Bitcoin. And the short term people, six to 12 months, have been so selling into rallies. Somebody else actually also said, I don't know, I don't, I don't know where it was, but basically th these people don't know what they're selling. And it's kind of true. They don't really know what they're doing, in my opinion. But I want to say this. If people are taking profit, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, and all of this happening, while this happening, Americans ready to pour $40 billion into Bitcoin and the stock market as stimulus check checks arrive. This is one little facet of what is going on in the bitcoin crypto ecosystem what's getting ready to happen for you know not only stock market but crypto potentially speculatively amongst other things everybody and i always talk about the bitcoin having i talk about the limited supply of bitcoin the bitcoin shock the supply shock that is happening right now all of the confluence of this of this stuff happening there's just not enough bitcoin and in terms of bitcoin on the long term macro charts we are just in the middle of this bull market this is not in my opinion based on historical data and what we've just talked about for years on this youtube channel we are not at the top of the bull market is there potentially more downside maybe there is and i want to throw that out there real quick before we zoom in on the charts maybe there's like two months of just pain and downside maybe bitcoin retraces to forty thousand dollars thirty some thousand dollars that doesn't mark the end of the, the bull market. It doesn't. Uh, this could be the setup for continuation because everybody, we are in the middle of Bitcoin cycles and it's just historically laid out on the chart and I get it, nothing's guaranteed, but the upside for Bitcoin is way greater than the potential downside in my opinion. Now, I wanna start here. I wanna start zooming in on the charts and talking about what is happening for Bitcoin. This was a video from six days ago, March 9th. Check this out. We want to ultimately see this entire resistance area turn into support for Bitcoin. We want to see $55,000 turn into support for Bitcoin. We do want to see that. And here we are today, March 15th, six days later, and that's the story being told. Like, and, and let me actually chart. So if you were watching those videos, that it's a swing high. That was an all-time high around 58000 to swing low, we saw Bitcoin making its way to this resistance area. We were talking about it a lot. Uh, you know, this March, you can just see this March 9th video, Bitcoin was just breaking out of Fibonacci retracement. This was a very bullish day for Bitcoin. And we talked about, we wanna get separation from this resistance area, and we ultimately wanna see support at that area. And now if you look at the hourly chart, you can see what's transpiring. It's exactly what we want to see happening uh, for a bullish continuation, which is to say we broke the resistance. You know, I did the video right around here, I guess. We got the separation, which was great, to the $61,000, $62,000 area, and we're revisiting $55,000, as I mentioned in that video, for support. So it's all playing out exactly how we want to see it play out. What we don't want to see is Bitcoin trickle down through this entire Fibonacci resistance. This channel here 
can act as support now. So we really technically have fifth, you know, support down to fifty two thousand dollars, fifty two thousand three hundred. We don't want to see that happen. The fifty five thousand dollar area is such a good area because not only is it the seven eight six line of the Fibonacci resistance that we broke through, so we came back down, we're testing it. But if you remember, it was the breakout target of this falling wedge that we did a lot of tracking uh, that broke out March 1st, $55,000 target, perfect confluence with the 786 line. So many interesting things happening on this chart right now. You can go to the six hour and you can kind of get a sense of, and I've talked about, I've talked about this a lot in recent videos, the similarities of the entire move back then, a little bit different in terms of Bitcoin not getting much separation last time and you can see the chart breaking that fibonacci resistance coming back down testing blast off uh, bitcoin got more separation this time around but either way we're testing the area once again and that's where we are on the bitcoin charts right now um, what i think is really important to note is what if this fails right we know and actually let me touch on that we know what happens if it succeeds if we see bitcoin uh hold support here we have our targets to the upside right around sixty-four thousand dollars. We have the breakout target out of the inverse head and shoulders that you see on the screen. I know there's a lot of lines, but here's the inverse head and shoulders, $64,000. Here's the ascending triangle, lower trend line, $64,000 target. A bounce here would get us up to that area, those targets. But we have to discuss, well, what if Bitcoin actually just put in an all-time high and we're, we're doing some type of short-term, mid-term correction? This could be just that first you know, consolidation continuation to the downside and then we're testing this uh 618 support area down here that's failing maybe maybe we get a little bounce there and then that's failing well what does that look like so we go over here and we can actually let's just go to a clean daily chart it's very simple here's a clean daily chart our you know macro support area that we always talk about it's always down here revisits to this area which is the 50-day moving average this blue line here is just in a bull market, always in play. You always want to see Bitcoin, whether it's getting way overextended and just coming right back in or getting overextended and just kind of consolidating into it, bringing it up. We always want to see Bitcoin just always meeting that 50 day moving average for continuation in a bull market. So that's fine. But if you look at that area and then you look at a Fibonacci retracement, which is on the, on the macro here, uh, you know, this is more of a midterm type of deal this february 28th swing low to our all-time high we have this fibonacci re retracement support area really really cool area because it's right in between the 20-day moving average and the 50-day moving average so that area of support that like very crucial this is what i want to talk about crucial crucial area of support 47,000 to 50,300. so i i bring this up not because i, I think it's going there but I bring it up because for me, I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm completely fine if Bitcoin is trickling down. It's not fun to watch and experience on this hourly chart, that's for sure. I don't want to be at 52,000. I don't want to be at 48,000. I want to keep hitting all-time highs just like the rest of you. <laughs> but if we come down and we're trickling down in this area, if we're holding support, it's, it's a good thing. And this could be such a bullish setup. It's kind of why I started on this this weekly macro to just remind you, although many people are calling the top of the bull market, there's room for downside, like for Bitcoin to consolidate even for a month or two months before continuing, continuing to the upside. And so what that looks like is testing areas like this, right? Having some patience. This is a daily chart. We just put in an all-time high. So let's see what happens. I mean, actually, let's see what happens first at our very short term, you know, two nights. What's going to happen with this support area? We're going to get our answer, I'm sure. We want to see a bounce back to the upside, ultimately breaking uh, our, our new Fibonacci resistance, which is swing high, all time high to swing low. We want to break this channel 59,000 to 60,200. Obviously, that's the resistance ahead. But if all else fails and, fi and this fails right here, the support 55,000 fails, then this is the support area to watch for. This is an accumulation area for those that are very convinced that we are in a bull market that is not ending yet. This is a very big accumulation area and that is to the downside, you know, 10 to 15% to the downside going down to around 40, 46, $47,000.
Now, altcoins would probably be suffering a little bit in an environment like that. People would be panicking. Crazy articles from Wall Street Journal will be coming out about how we've entered a bear market, but I just wanna throw that downside scenario out to you. This is simply because this is what I'm anticipating. I always wanna be ready for those things, so I'm not freaking out. But what I am watching is the support that we have right now, the support that we talked about in this video, March 9th, will it hold? That's what I'm watching right now. This is the key area for tonight. I mean, this is in a situation where this could break, <laughs> the support could break to the downside while I'm uploading the video. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens. But ultimately, you know, we want to change this to a six hour and we want to get a sense of how do the six hour candles interact with this entire support area? Uh, how do the six hour candles interact with $55,000 especially? So that's what I'm watching and tracking. I appreciate you coming by. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.